now that the marquee gymnastics events are over at the Rito Games, with the Japanese men and the American women proving to be the best in the team and all-around competitions, the sports apparatus finals have begun. Six more golds in the men's competition, for in the women's. Some might say these extra contests are overkill. But on Sunday, there were reminders of why the event finals matter. To explain, I've got two words for you, and they are not Simone Biles, Bo Biles, the best gymnast in the world right now, and perhaps ever, did win the women's vault. Her score of 15.966 basically stomped on everyone else. My two words are, Oksana Chushavadine. Never heard of her. You probably should have, and not just because she was one of the eight women who qualified for Sunday's vault final. This is her seventh Olympics. So you've had 24 years to hear her name. Chushavadina, from Uzbekistan, is 41, and she competed in her first Olympics in 1992, in Barcelona, where she won the team gold medal with the former Soviet Union. On Sunday, the announcer here, not one for subtlety or, evidently, mathematics, reminded the audience that those 1992 games occurred before most of us were born. Chu Shavadina was a junior national champion in the Soviet Union in 1988, before all of her competitors on Sunday were born. The gymnast who voted before her was 16. The one who voted after her was 16. Both were younger than Chu Shavadina's son, Bay Lisher, who is 17. The average age of her opponents was 20. No matter how you calculate it, Chu Shavadina has been in the sport a long time, which is both phenomenal and nearly unbelievable considering how maturity and injury off and end the careers of female gymnasts before they are 30, or even before they reach their mid-20s. Chu Shavadina said she had stayed in the sport for one reason, because I like it. When Piles was asked if she would compete into her 30s, she frowned, shook her head and said, absolutely not. It's amazing that she's still going, Piles said of Chu Shavadina. I couldn't do that. But their Chu Shavadina was on Sunday an athletic specimen who could keep gerontologists busy for years studying her. All five feet and one hundred pounds of her marched onto the podium with her old-school white slippers and dark hair pulled back by a greenish rubber band. Her leotard was hot pink and white, and had crystals on it, as if the rage in gymnastics these days. When she voted, she didn't hold back for fear of injury or lack of ability. It was the opposite, actually. For one of her two required vaults, she tried the Pradunova, which is loosely and not at all lovingly called the Vault of Death. It's a handspring onto the table and a front somersaults in the air. It is so dangerous that even Biles won't try it in competition. It's also the hardest vault around, meaning you get more points if you land it. Chu Shavadina didn't land it. She didn't rotate fast enough and landed in a crouch. She did a forward somersault to dissipate her momentum. Her score was 14.933. Her to vault average was 14.833. The Pikarmakar of India also performed the Pradhanova and landed on her backside. The first Indian woman to compete in Olympic gymnastics, she finished fourth. Chush Avadina was seventh. Their placing didn't matter, but their presence did. These event finalists at times feel like too much gymnastics after a week of Olympic gymnastics. But they give athletes from countries without powerhouse programs a chance for some Olympic glory. As specialists, they could shine without a big team or a big budget behind them. Chu Shavadina did not start out as a specialist. She began as an all-arounder, when she was seven. At twelve, she was sent to live at a Soviet sports school. By 1991, she was up to time world champion. Her first Olympics, and first Olympic medal, came a year later. In 2002, Chu Shavadina, who is married to the former Olympic wrestler Bahodur Korpanor, moved to Germany to train when Elisha was ill with leukemia and they needed money for his medical treatment. With the German national team she won a silver medal on vault at the 2008 Beijing Games. That 16-year span between Olympic medals was unheard of in the sport. Chu Shavadina now competes for her home country, Uzbekistan, while splitting time between there and Germany where a Lisher is in school. She said she expected to compete at the 2017 World Championships, but don't tell her son that. He doesn't know yet that I'm going to continue competing, she said after the vault, wincing, speaking in Russian through an interpreter. She explained that a Lisher was always worried about her and tells her, Mom, 
Don't do complicated things. Be careful. Don't jump carelessly or slip. He's right to fret. The possibility of injury at her age is great. Tendons and ligaments tend to stiffen with time, making injuries more likely. So Chush Avadina is an aberration. Over the years, she has had two operations on her shoulder and a torn Achilles tendon, but otherwise feels healthy. Nothing hurts me, she said. She trains once a day, for only two or three hours. In the world of elite gymnastics, that's nothing. The worst part of it all, she said, is getting up early to train or compete. She hates mornings. What gets her through them, she said, is coffee, coffee and more coffee, coupled with dark chocolate. No other top gymnast has the same method, guaranteed. It's not very difficult, Chu Shavadina said, adding that she can't explain the reasons for her longevity in the sport. This is a kind of experiment. I would like to see how long I can't compete. Does that mean she will be back for the 2020 Games in Tokyo, at 45? She smiled as she said, of course.